Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisperiPair.com. If you suspect that you have a bad car battery, you can use a multimeter to help confirm that. In this video you'll see how to test a car battery with a multimeter, how to properly use and connect a multimeter to the battery, and what do the readings mean. So stay tuned. DisperiPair.com be sure to visit us at our website despairrepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Before we start, I would recommend our video about the most common signs and symptoms of a dead or nearly dead car battery. So, besides using a multimeter, this video may also help to conclude if the battery is causing the problem. Click on the card in the corner of the video to watch it. The most important reason for knowing how to test a car battery with a multimeter is that you'll be able to determine with good accuracy what is causing the problem. For instance, and this is perhaps the best example, is when the car poorly cranks. The causes for this problem range from a bad connection on the battery terminals, a bad battery perhaps, a bad ground connection and go all the way to a faulty starter. So a wide range of possible causes. But, by using a multimeter, you get an instant starting point or even the solution to the whole problem. By measuring the battery voltage, you see if the battery is ok or not. If the battery isn't the problem, you can continue to search further. So, knowing all of this may well save you time, money and perhaps solve the problem. Before we start, just a few words on how to properly connect the multimeter. There are two main things to remember, setting the proper voltage and properly connecting the probes. Regarding the voltage, on almost all cars the voltage is 12 volts by standard, while on bigger pickup trucks and trucks it's 24 volts. Remember to choose direct DC current, you'll recognize it by the flat icon on the instrument, while alternate AC current has the curved oscillating line. Equally important is properly setting the gauge. Always set the gauge so the value you're measuring does not exceed the setted value. For instance, don't set the multimeter to 6 volts and measure 12 volts. If you do, you won't be able to get a good reading or might even damage the multimeter. About the probes, make sure to connect them to the ports properly otherwise you won't get a reading. Also don't mix them up. Red goes on plus while black goes on minus. Not that anything will happen, but depending on the multimeter, you might get a wrong reading or damage the instrument. For this task, you can also use an analog multimeter with a scale, but I would recommend using a digital one as these are easier to read and somewhat more precise. First, connect the multimeter to the battery while the engine is not running. Once more, put the red probe on the plus terminal and the black probe on the minus terminal. Now we'll show you two possible outcomes of the reading you'll get when the battery is ok and when the battery is the problem. If the battery is ok. When the battery is ok, the voltage when the engine is off should be between 12.5 volts and 12.8 volts. This is the first sign that the battery is in good condition. After this, start the car. You'll see the voltage drastically go down for a moment, but it will quickly climb up to 14.2 to 14.5 volts. This is the alternator taking over the power supply. All of this is another sign that the battery is ok, but also that the recharging system is functioning properly. If you want to learn more about how to check the alternator voltage, click on the card in the corner of the video to watch another video dedicated specifically to this topic. Finally, one more test is turning on the lights and measuring the voltage while the engine is off. If the voltage slowly declines and the lights keep shining normally, this means the battery is still in good condition and that it can withstand the load. When you have a bad battery, the first reading will be under 12 volts. If this is the case, then you've probably found the problem. Generally, anything under 12 volts is considered as a weaker or bad value. Values between 11 and 12 volts generally mean that the battery still works, but there may be problems during colder weather 
or there may be sudden losses of power. This isn't a rule, but is common. Under 11 volts, like 10 or 9 volts or less, usually mean that you can get one crank at best, or there will be just the dashboard and interior lights working for instance. At 5 or 6 volts, the battery is generally considered dead, and if you were to install it on the car, there would be no electricity at all. To additionally confirm that the battery is the problem, start the engine and check the voltage. If it's 14.2 to 14.5 volts, you have additional confirmation that the battery is the problem since the alternator is working properly. If you were to do the headlights test in this case, the outcome would probably be that the lights would go dim in a couple of seconds and you wouldn't be able to start the car. So, 12.5 to 12.8 volts means the battery is okay. Under 12 volts and you should have in mind a battery replacement in the near future, especially if you live in a colder climate. 10 and less volts means you don't have a good battery and replace it as soon as possible as it will cause a problem for sure. For the end, I must mention the practicality and benefit of having a multimeter. If you want to do DIY repairs around the car, but also around the household, it's more or less a must have. A very useful, in most cases inexpensive tool that will make finding the problem much easier. So that's it for this time, hope the video helps, please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.